Welcome to the David Wong Entrepreneur Show. I'm David Wong, martial artist, entrepreneur, and a peak performance innovator. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 reasons why you're never, ever gonna become a millionaire. If you wanna get more tips on how to become a millionaire, how you can be more successful, actualize your full potential, and even get martial arts lessons, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the bell and get all the awesome content coming out on a weekly basis from me. With that said, get ready for the show. Number 10 on the list is that your attitude sucks. People are just like, they don't even want to hang around you because your attitude is so shitty. You're complaining all the time, you make excuses, you don't show up on time, you don't respond to phone calls, you don't respond to messages. Only trolling people, bad mouthing people, backstabbing, talking shit about other people. That's just a sign you have a very bad attitude and there's no freaking way in hell you're ever gonna become a millionaire. Number nine on the list is that you're an expert at making excuses. You're really good at it. When something happens and then it doesn't go the way that it should, you make excuses. Either do that or you blame somebody else. You never take responsibility for the results or for your actions. Number eight on the list is that you justify why money is not important. A lot of times when people don't have money, in order to make themselves feel better, they say, oh, money is not that important. We don't really need money and we can just live on love. Love doesn't put food on the table. Love doesn't pay for the mortgage. Love doesn't pay for the rent. Love doesn't buy dog food you need to feed your dog. So money is important. We need money to live. We need money to survive. We need the money to have a good lifestyle. But don't let money become more important than some things. For example, your family and your morals and integrity. Number seven on the list is that you, you want to be a millionaire, but you don't know how to get there. There's so many fake gurus out there telling you that their way is the best way. Here's how you can get rich quick. Here's how you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars in like a week. I know exactly how you feel. I used to be poor and broke and I was able to transform myself to become a millionaire and more. The way that I did it is completely different from how all the gurus that you see out there are doing. It's a five step process. I'm gonna teach you how you can transform yourself from the inside out. How to transform your body and your health how to transform your mind, and how to transform your spirit, and also how to attract abundance and prosperity effortlessly. I'm gonna show you how to use meditation and Qigong practices and behavior programming, and also some technology you can use to hack your mind so that you start thinking like a millionaire and start doing things of a millionaire and becoming a millionaire. So make sure you don't miss this event. It's at chilifemastery.com. I'll see you there. Number seven on the list is that you go into debt to buy stuff that you don't need. To do what? To impress people that you don't even like. Does that make any sense to you? Spending money that you don't even have, buying stuff that's going to lose value like the day that you buy it, just so that it can make other people jealous or fit into a crowd of people that you don't even like, or get some kind of social acceptance to make you feel better about yourself. So that just shows that you have very low self-esteem. And with a low attitude like that, you're not gonna become a millionaire. Number six is that you don't have any financial goals. If you don't have a goal to be a millionaire, then what's your chances of becoming a millionaire? If you don't even know what the target is, what are your chances of hitting the target? And also, you don't have any incremental financial goals. You say, I wanna be a millionaire. Well, if you're only making $10,000 a year, then it's a really big gap between 10,000 and a million. How are you gonna get there? So set some incremental financial goals. Say, okay, I wanna make $20,000. Or I wanna make $30,000, right? Or if you're making $100,000, how are you gonna get from 100,000 to 200,000? If you're making half a million dollars a year, how do you get to half a million to 750,000, right? Have incremental financial goals and an action plan to achieve it. Number five on the list is that you focus on saving money rather than earning money. Now, we all need to save money, but if you're just a penny pincher instead of making dollars, and that's not gonna help you become a millionaire. Well, we need to save, but make sure that your priority is to increase your income or increase your revenues and profits for your business before you think about saving. Saving is important, but it's not the primary goal. Number four is that you're not investing your money. Actually, you're spending money faster than you can make it. You're buying stuff that go down in value, and the investments you make aren't actually real investments. They're just toys and gizmos that just make you look good. If you don't have a mindset of investing like a millionaire, you're never gonna become a millionaire. Number three on the list is that you don't spend any time learning, especially learning on skills for making money, skills to build businesses, 
These are skills that you need to learn either the hard way through experience or you can learn from someone else who's already done it. You can even learn some of these skills at school, but let me tell you, I've never been to business school and today I make way more money than people who have MBAs or whatever you call them. So you don't spend time learning how to make money, actually getting skills and understanding and knowledge and learning from people, then you're never gonna become a millionaire. Number two reason why you're never gonna be a millionaire is that you're not obsessed with your craft. Every millionaire has something that they're really good at. So if you don't have anything that you're obsessing over, that means you probably don't have anything that you're really good at. Now, if you focus on your strengths, focus on that craft that you're really good at, put hours into it, put effort into it, improve it, become one of the best in it, then it's a really good way to become a millionaire. But if you don't have that, then sorry, you're not gonna be a millionaire. Are you ready for the final reason why you're never gonna become a millionaire? You may not know it, but you actually have a relationship with money. What is your attitude? What is your mindset? Many people think that money is the root of all evil, but that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. Is there fear, anxiety, or self-doubt that's associated with money? If you have those emotions, then that's your relationship with money. Take some time to really understand why you're feeling those emotions and reassess them and ask yourself, is that really true? Is that really true about money? Then that's the beginning of changing your mindset so that you become a millionaire. And unless you can change your mindset and your relationship to money, you will never become a millionaire. Hey, the content doesn't stop here, so make sure you click the videos here to keep watching and get more awesome content like this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe link here. And if you want to know what your Qi Energy score is, click the link in the description below to take the quiz.